Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Blaze of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. We're doing Eden Streaks today, Streaks going well. It's fairly unlikely that this run will be worse than our last run. 4ZFMTT01, now that I've said that we are super jinxed, but actually, um, compared to the last run, we have a pretty good start here. Uh, statistically, actually not good at all. Um, HP is good, but the DPS is pretty horrible. Rate of fire in particular is hot garbage. Well, at least we save half a spirit heart. Wow, we actually made our spirit heart back for coming in here. And what's the other one? Hanged man? Eh, we can go without the ability to fly to save half a spirit heart. Um, but uh, mystery sack is pretty good. And Tammy's head actually somewhat mitigates, maybe even largely mitigates, the fact that our damage is kind of shitty right now. Which is a relative positive thing, I would say. If we can just get in there and make sure that we're doing as much damage with Tammy's head as possible. Obviously, you don't want to play too aggressively on the off chance that you, uh... You know, well, not even off chance, but just cause yourself to take damage from, you know, getting yourself way too deep in that ass, basically. With a hellified gangsta lean. Getting funky on the mic like an old batch of collard greens. It's the capital S O S O N O double O P D O double G Y double double G. You see, something like that. It's you know, it's been a while since I've heard nothing but a G thing. You know, two or three minutes, all that uh, mental glycogen gets purged from my brain, and it's uh, you know used for fuel to start the run here. Mystery sack has given us relax, I think. Effectively trapped me inside of that. I don't know why I went back for that battery charge. Uh, really, actually, I know I've gone back and forth on this a little bit, but. The number one thing that we need right now is probably just tears. More damage, uh, stat-wise, is also great because it makes Tammy's head better. Of course, tear effects, uh, piercing shots, stuff like that is good too. Uh, we have to at least try to reroll this, and I think that probably that's okay. Um, you know, five homing bombs is at least not bad. Three shots each? Something like that. Four? Four. Okay. Um, five homing bombs at least allows us to maybe get to our secret room, and also for one bomb here, we can get like a hundred cents. Something ridiculous along those lines. Uh, maybe I won't look for the secret room just yet, and we'll try to kill this boss with a homing bomb. Yeah, actually, I quite like the idea of completely missing with a homing bomb. Mostly worked, and I'll just tough it out for the rest. So, coat hanger would be great. Meat would be okay. Magic Mush would be uh, ideal, as would the Halo. Well, I've accidentally muted the sound here. You can still hear me. I can't hear the game. That's fine. Cat of Nine Tails is also good. There we go. Sounds back. Hmm. Good chance at an arcade here as well. I would like honestly compared to the last floor or the last, the first floor of the last run. This is like living a dream right now. We got a little bit of every consumable. Conceivably a chance to get something from our shop on this floor. We need one more key and a little money. Or to, to leverage our donation machine a little bit. A chance at an arcade, which is just like completely foreign to us on the past few runs. Haven't really had a chance to, to min-max that stuff at all. Which is, you know, sometimes nice to have an excuse not to have to. But uh, most of the time you'd rather at least have the option to, to leverage it. Uh, I'll come over here. I hate this, but that's okay. Get out. Place one bomb. Uh, we're, we're fine. It's a wooden nickel? That's alright, I'll still do it. We got our nickel. Run! That is the best I've ever handled that room. Uh, we'll go inside of our shop, and inside of our shop, definitely pick up the steam sale. Don't really want ventricular razor. It's kind of a zany item. And I, I can appreciate the zaniness. I understand the value of it, you know, the ability to, like, walk into a curse room, uh, with a portal placed outside, and, you know, half price, basically, to get out, but, uh, you could also use it for stuff like Boss Rush. Now, I'm kind of convincing myself, but let's see what we get from our deal with the Devil here. Because, as of right now, um, our damage is so bad that Tammy's head is like, it's given us a good chance. Please be Cricket's head. If we get, eh, I mean, it's, it's Bob's Rotten head, but that's not really what I'm looking for. Um, if we get substantial damage upgrades from our deal with the Devil and Boss Fight, maybe we can reconsider, but for now... Uh, I think Tammy's head is pretty essential to our overall chances, so we'll roll with that. Uh, we do have a second key. Uh, I guess we'll open one of these. Speed down is really bad. We got Abel. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> I figured we'd open the second one anyway. Let's go for it. 
So we got Abel and uh, basically nothing. Could be worse, but certainly could be better. Don't remember if there was a uh, a key in our shop. I'm thinking back to my shop brain, thinking maybe there wasn't. Oh, what Abel? That was my second to last bomb, dog. That's my last bomb before my last bomb. You're pushing it away here. I guess homing bombs are a little bit less of a a force than the incredibly potent shots from Abel. Who would have thought? Magic must. Magic must. Magic mush is huge. Sister Maggie is not. Still, I, I think that Ventricular Razor is kind of a fool's uh, decision here. It is cheap, though. Now, well, so is everything now, I suppose. Give me a key, please. I can't resist opening those golden chests, man. I'm just so tempted. Could be anything inside of them. It could even be another golden chest. There is a tinted rock. Bomb and key. Bomb and key. Small rock is also great. In fact, probably better than what we would expect to get from our item room. But I also want to get to our item room. If you could swing that, please. Thank you. Well, at least our damage is good. There's our key. And inside we find HP, which is, you know, worth the cost of doing business here. I hate it because there's so many good... Tammy's head synergies, but maybe, sure, how often do we use ventricular razor? Like, basically never, right? Maybe I should take the opportunity to go in here and use ventricular razor and, uh, oh, don't just walk into the fire for no reason. We could have a good time there. That's what these runs are about, right? They're about zaniness. Let's pick up this as well. Um, sure, so we're going to use ventricular razor. I'm going to try to use it for every available function. So getting out of boss rush for free, getting out of boss trap for free, getting out of curse rooms, uh, having only paid the the cost of entry. We did get karma as a trinket as well. I should really look up what that does, figure that out. Um, you know what? Let's use the first portal here. My thinking being that um, if we ever have to backtrack, hey, we got this portal back here that we can use. But I guess it has like unlimited charges, so there's no rush really. Did Abel just get a kill? I never thought I'd see the day. Get out of jail free card. So that is a potential Mega Satan fight. If we so desire. Do I so desire? I may desire. I may. I may be desirous. That's my stage name. Hey, I'm Tane, your latest dancer. I'm here to entertain you. Now Tane I can get into. Anyway. Internet.jpg. Uh, we're going to actually use Ventricular Razor to backtrack. It feels good, man. I gotta admit, I'm in a little bit of a Tammy's Head hangover right now. I don't really have much, uh, as much damage as I would like to. We do have homing bombs. And we are probably for the next floor or two gonna be worse than we were uh, on the floor that just passed. Might be nice to get a deal. As the odds were not good, but it worked. And we got Roid Rage, which is fine. And then we're going to fight Krampus, which is less fine. Um, but not necessarily bad. Lump of Coal would be good. Head of Krampus would be like a complete waste, but it, at least we won't have to fight him again. Lump of Coal, fantastic. Alright, so we do have good range-ish, thanks to Magic Mush and the shot speed up from... Cat of Nine Tails, and then of course we also have uh, the Speed Plus Range upgrade that we just picked up, so, you know, there's there's some good stuff going on there. And now we can still backtrack with Ventricular Razor here, which is nice, so, I mean, it's not going to be a full backtrack, but at least it can help us out at some point. I'm not expect like, Tammy's Head is useful on every room. I'm expecting Ventricular Razor to be useful, like, four times. The question is, are those four times worth uh, the loss of Tammy's Head being useful on every room? From a strategic standpoint, I'd say almost certainly no. But from a novelty standpoint, I think it's it's beyond theoretical possibility. Paralysis is... Honestly, you, you might think that I'm sad that I went over there, but I'm not. I'm happy that I went over there and saw uh, what that pill is, so now I won't just pick one up on the floor and use it on a room or something like that. I'll always take a look to see what it is. Now, if we're going to get the maximum use out of this item, we really do need to prioritize boss rush. I know that sometimes people are annoyed about boss rush. 
That's okay. We're making a compromise here. We're taking an item that incentivizes it in order to crank up the absurdity level ever so slightly. See what our shop holds. Uh, well, we'll try to buy both. Fanny pack's fine. And a couple of spiders is less fine, but otherwise palatable. And restock is actually awesome. Again, if we get one more steam sale now, Pisces is also okay, but the knockback can be bad sometimes. High Priestess, Hierophant. Hierophant is great. Um, yeah, no, this is good. Uh, now if we get one more steam sale, we get infinite items from the shop, which is pretty positive. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look at that. Teleported us like four rooms. I am a goddamn genius. Okay, we're getting out of here at about the right time. Improved ourselves pretty nicely on that floor. Pretty nicely. We already went in there. That was Krampus Lump of Coal. I can't really complain about this run, but I'm not really loving it either. Yet. We'll see. Um, okay, I just had to check that message in case it was important. It is somewhat important. Uh, we will... Tell you what, throw this out here. We probably won't have an arcade, but this is an easy teleporter. And it could save us a little bit of time, which could make the difference for boss rush. But also, if we get a temperance card, I would love to just get into that boss trap room and get out. That's half the value, man. Probably the more likely outcome is that we, we get a deal with the devil and then lose enough HP to make it possible to go in there. And this is like old school Isaac strats, man. Being able to teleport out of a boss trap room or a... A mob trap room makes me feel at home. That was like a pre-afterbirth strat. You used to just be able, you know, if you're relatively new, yeah, we'll take it, fuck it. Um, you used to just be able to fly out of a room like that, which was actually hilariously poorly balanced. <laughs> if you have the ability to fly, you can just leave a, uh, you can just leave your mo uh, boss trap room for no penalty, basically. Um, basically made flying even better than it already is. Because of the fact that we have homing bombs, I'm feeling pretty strongly about uh, Dr. Feet as being a good pickup here. Seems like a secret room to me. We will probably hit ourselves more than I would like. That's just the Northern Lion way. 15 cents though is good. That's two items from our shop considering we have Steam Sale. I really feel like the, the changes to Dr. Fetus were better than the changes that I would have made to Dr. Fetus. In a, in a way that is good for everybody. I like how they made it so not only do bomb synergies make it positive, or like affect it, but, uh, but tier synergies do as well. Like it allows you to get uh, extra damage and, and extra kind of utility so many different ways that it's, it's really nice. Cracker Jacks, basically HP and a speed upgrade in this case. Not really that interested. Take a quick look for our our shop, I suppose, but we're pretty much uh, good to go here. And honestly, we shouldn't really have any problems at all now. Except for a greed fight. Come on, just give me the... Oh, a second steam sale! Holy shit. Never mind. Disregard. Why buy money? Everything's free for the rest of our lives. Okay, we have no need to go to anything else on this floor. We are set. It is, uh, it's a wonderful time to be alive. Let's head down to the next floor with Karma. I don't know if Karma's doing this for me, but it is now, by default, my favorite trinket in history. Will we fight Mega Satan on this run? Ah, I shouldn't have blown that up. I think that it's it's plausible that fighting Mega Satan will happen. Absolutely. We may even do boss rush, although I can't imagine why I would ever do boss rush if I could just teleport out. You know, just for the extra hassle, it's probably not worth it. I believe... That you will be here, so give me a sign. Hit me, baby, one more time and knock me out of this spike pit. That was the subtext of that song. My lonely piss is killing me. And I... It's a song about a... Just a lonely urologist. I guess if you're, if you're talking specifically about urine, wouldn't be a urologist. It might be like a nephrologist. I don't know. Is there, is there someone who just focuses on doing urinalysis? Goathead is a very positive choice here as well. Okay, this is win number nine. I'm going to call it CNN calls win number nine for Northern Lion. I appreciate it. We've worked hard on the campaign trail. And uh, thanks to all my supporters who always believed in me or who opportunistically believed in me only when it appeared that it was likely that I was going to win. I appreciate your, your support and your success. By the way, kind of 
nice to have gotten rid of Tammy's head. Because otherwise, we would probably be hitting ourselves a lot with Tammy's head, especially given the fact that it homes. Only thing that would be worse than that would be like my reflection, but I wouldn't wish that on anybody. So we should be able to buy infinite items from our shop here. Start with starter deck. Some items we may not want. Remote detonator. I mean, it's interesting with the items we have, but... Oh, there's chaos. So now we can, like, just go buck wild. Might as well just stand here. It's actually not even going to take that long to make this happen. Guppy's tail. We will leave at some point, but as long as these keep giving me passives, like, this is the best day of my life. We got breakfast without breakfasting ourselves. This scared me a little bit. Transformations should be coming soon. Cursed Eye kind of sucks. Dad's key doesn't really bother me. We could just roll get out of jail free card. So far, I'd say this is pretty good. <laughs> uh, just stacking up uh, item after item after item. Always remember who called this run before it was a guarantee. I mean, it's always been pretty good here, I guess, but still. Might as well use that once. Uh, it's, it's now gone forever. How deep are we gonna do, uh, are we gonna go here? I mean, at some point we'll reach a level where it's gonna be very difficult to navigate through the room. There's the mom transformation. Surprisingly few uh, active items so far, which is nice. Oh, we got a Beelzebub transformation and another transformation, which I guess was Bob there. And then there's Guppy. Scatter bomb seems horrible here. <laughs> it's really scary, at least. Forget me now. Telepathy for dummies. Athame. Well, it is so far so good, right? Conjoined? I don't know if that's good or horrible for us. We're only on Depths 1, right? Yeah, Necropolis 1. Oh, Infestation 2 is going to be so good. Curse of the Tower, probably a little less so. Shovel is meaningless. We got another, uh, we must have gotten the Fungi transformation in there. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Bomber Boy seems horrible for us here as well. Is that our, no, we already had Guppy, so we're good. Breakfast? Tough love, we've had two breakfasts so far. That's three breakfasts. BFFs, BBF. Black Candle's great. Mom's Perfume. Gimpy. Uh, several breakfasts. I think, <laughs> I think we might be about ready to go here. Uh, we still have Get Out of Jail Free, so I think we just run. We probably don't go How to Jump, though. Um, let's take... Let's take Dad's Key. Just so if we lose Get Out of Jail Free, we can still do Mega Satan. Alright, um... Well... This strikes me as a fairly dangerous situation. I, I really don't know why everything exploded instantly. But it seems to be pretty good. Take Blood Clot. Uh, yeah, we'll take the Pact. Yeah, we'll take Sticky Bombs. Um, those all seem positive. We still don't have any mapping, which is actually hilarious to me, but... Uh, relatively minor in the whole scheme of things, I suppose. Oh my lord. It's like Explosivo Scatter Bomber Boy. There's 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 too many ways out, man. Curse of the Tower. At least we have Gimpy. It's very difficult to avoid getting hit by my own bombs. Mind you, we also create just a ridiculous amount of spiders apparently. So Every time we get hit, we have a chance to get, uh... We have a chance to get our HP back from Gimpy. And then we also generate, like, enough spiders to kill an entire floor. Maybe if we just hide out in the corner, we'll be okay? What's going on? Where is this Explosivo shot coming from? It was, like, stuck to Bumbo or something. There's another Spirit Heart back there, but I don't really care. Um... I don't think we got hit, I think I just moved. It's like, it's Sad Bomb's Bomber Boy for sure. Anytime a shot hits a rock, we're in 
a horrible situation as well. Okay, well, at least we got our keys back. Bumbo can pick up some cash. Get close to max level. Sure. Don't really understand what's happening. That's okay. We still have a key. Could really use, like, Pyromaniac. I'm actually, as a result of our own actions, less confident that we will win this run now. I'm not more confident that we'll lose than that we'll win. But I do feel like it's a little it's a little tight in here. Ceremonial robes is good. Um, we're not going to teleport, is it? <laughs> Are we going to do this for breakfast? I would say probably not, no. Let's head down. Some mapping would still be good. Okay, I think I've, I've come to accept that everything dies when we shoot one bomb. So I think we just shoot one bomb and then hide in the corner and, and pray for the sweet release of death. And by sweet release of death, I mean the death of my enemies, not of me, of course. We're killing it. Oh, we also have Bob's brain, which could could screw this one up a little bit. Eh, I don't, what do we care about a two room? I understand that we could use it. I just... What do, what do we care? Yeah. Not a surprise. I'll take the eternal heart. We shouldn't get hit more than twice on the next room. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, yes, we will take the mind. I don't think we need pyro. Just a hunch. Uh, we'll take the pills, even though I'll probably not eat. Oh, they're cards because of starter deck. This card's two of diamonds. Still got get out of jail free. And we're clearing these rooms out in like a minute. Do we have an emperor? Nah. Get out of jail, the stars? Sure. Why not? So that's the value of starting an Eden run with, uh, with the steam sale, I suppose. If you ever fight greed, there's a pretty real chance that you'll just ball out of control forever. We could have even balled even further, but we've pretty much breakfasted the game already, so... Um, I, I don't necessarily consider there to be too much value in it. And we, by the way, will totally fight Mega Satan. Unless our HP is like zero when we go up there. Mega Satan is going to get toasted and roasted. Ooh, we got two keys back at least. And an Eternal Heart. That Eternal Heart is unlikely to last, would be my assessment of, of events here. Holy shit, we actually threaded the needle on one of those. Okay, see who we got. And it... Should we fight Hush? I think we should fight Hush, man. I think that'll be a fun time. We're only at 20 minutes. We were at like 18 minutes when we got down to the uh, mom fight. So to be at 20, 20, 37, yeah, that's where we are, um, is actually kind of hilarious. Sure, shielded tears. Absolutely, lost contact. Let me remind you, uh, free items endlessly. There's Sackhead. Lots of breakfast. Dude, I... Give me full HP. I, I, I demand it. Oh, scapular as well. And of course, we got Mom's Pearls. And then, you know, there you go. Breath of Life. Go back here a little bit. There's Mom's Purse. There's Mom's Contacts. Guardian Angel. Probably not very useful for us at this point, considering uh, considering that it's going to be explosive damage. 99 keys is pretty sweet. And we got a lot of breakfast. Not all breakfast, but a lot of breakfast. Okay, let's 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 slow our roll there. I can't see what that one is. Is that bright? No, it's a glowing hourglass. Oh, donate as much money as possible. Hell yeah, it's done. All right, <laughs> let's move on. Uh, yeah, let's take pentagram. I guess more damage from our other one. We'll take probably breakfast. <laughs> Don't even start with me on this right here. Just make sure that you have. Uh, you have uh, get out of jail free when you leave. Actually, now that I think about it, we don't need get out of jail free because we have dad's key. Let's well, Joker card. We got the Halo. That's pretty much just a guaranteed pickup, and we've got the Seraphim play. Justice. What's our rune? Perthro? Sure, dog. Let's do it. We've killed the first phase of Hush. Expect the second phase of Hush to be a good deal more difficult. One day, it's going to stop. One day, the explosions are going to stop. It's very confusing what's happening in here. 
There's bombs flying out at all angles. Yeah, just pop the chariot, dude. Keep yourself healthy here. Stop exploding. Stop exploding. Uh, I guess we'll save Perthro for the Mega Satan fight. And by Mega Satan fight, I mostly just mean the chest. We got death. Emperor, that's what I'm looking for. So we're going to go up to the next floor. We don't want temperance. Where's, where's our Perthro? Right here? Okay. Go up to our next floor. That was an interesting uh, hush fight, would be the way that I would describe it. Use the Emperor card. Throw a single bomb in here. End his life, and, and possibly your own. Head down to the next floor. Open this shit up, use your Perthro rune, kill Mega Satan in like 15 seconds. Depending on how long his death animations are. Honestly, like a pretty good haul here. At least the mark in Judas the Shadow is not going to do anything for us, but we did get Leviathan. I don't know where we got that chest from. Odd Mushroom, the moon. Okay, let's just, just finish the job here. This is, this is probably, like, objectively one of the most powerful runs I've ever had. Um, it's a little ridiculous how much damage one bomb can do to an enemy. I also, it, it's one of the least comprehensible runs I've ever had. I don't really understand what's happening. The whole map is on fire. I keep exploding on the regular. He keeps exploding on the regular. Like, everybody's exploding. It's almost like it spells out a message here. It's a hell of a run, that's for sure. And it is now over. 24 minutes to Mega Satan, pretty good. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button, upside a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.